Remedies control has come out. Yay! The game is pretty upfront about its inspirations from X Files and Twin Peaks and general just TV stuff. The game fully feels like an amalgamation of a lot of good ideas that the company has had in the past. Taking on those parallels from Twin Peaks and X Files and so on, and putting it into a pretty unique setting. Especially if you are not so familiar with Twin Peaks or X Files. It's kind of a win win situation though, because if you are familiar with Twin Peaks or the X Files, then this is a nice, comfortable fit to get into. If you're not, then this is a really good entry point into that sort of mystery. The game does sadly feel a little bit confused. There's been times when I've just had absolutely no clue of where to go because the game hasn't really telegraphed its intention so well. There's been times when I've just been running around in circles because the next target isn't immediately apparent. See now, I am very, very up for not just following a marker and doing some investigating, but generally it seems like moving on to the next target seems kind of vague sometimes. Uh, there's been one case where I was trying to get a big generator to start, and the place where you do that isn't with all the generator stuff talking to the guy that runs the generators, but it's in a complete different room, and that just really confused me. And then just my notice told me to go somewhere else for some reason. I had to go to a training ground, which, well, why? It just seemed really abrupt, but whatever. Got through that. <laughs> um, yeah. But it just doesn't seem to lead one thing to the other very smoothly. Which is a shame. It is a shame. And it seems like the concept that the building is always shifting. See, it just feels like that's a bit of an excuse for having a confusing sort of path through the game's narrative. Which, uh, I, I'm only early on in the game, but hopefully that concept isn't just a mask for having a bad path through the game. I don't think it is, I think it's just my brain has made those two things link up. The acting is great in the game, but it doesn't translate well to the character models. There's been times where the faces have just sort of come off a little bit like they've been stabbed with some Botox to just sort of keep their faces in this very numb position and uh, the, all of the drama has to be sold through through the vocal acting, which is good vocal acting, it's, it does the job very well, but they just sort of don't link up as well as they should, and sometimes it just makes a bit of an uncanny valley, especially when you notice that the character models can't let go of the items that they're holding on to. Uh, there's one character, I've completely forgotten her name, something Pope, She's always got a clipboard and a pen in her hand, and it just feels weird. It feels like you're playing with action figures, or like dolls that just have those things melded into their hands by by design. There's been some loading errors as well, like textures won't load in, the map won't load in, um, the game will freeze at certain checkpoints. And uh, the game just crashed, just fully crashed at one point. Also, some of the physics are kind of bizarre. The thing that has really bothered me the most, though, has been 
it's occasionally the fighting, the combat is just ruthless, like not even logically so. There's been plenty of times when I've died and it just seems entirely unfair that something has blindsided me. And this is an issue that I spoke about in my video on Alan Wake, so it sort of feels like they've not learned from that past experience. Maybe the fact that I said it in my Alan Wake video was too late, and also definitely no one in Remedy has watched my video. There's been a couple fights where I, I felt like I've just sort of cheesed it, and I don't want to feel like I'm cheesing it, I want to feel like I'm using the abilities. Um, and it also feels that I've only made it through quite a few of the fights, because I have the pre-order health bonus, which without it, I think I would still be stuck in this one room with a guy flinging stuff at me. Um, it's not perfectly balanced. But the way that the gun changes is very nice. The way that the abilities sort of feel kind of grounded in the same place, but can extend into other ways. I like that. It feels very, very good. I like the character. I like the character motivations. I like the setting. I like the fact that the building itself is a bit of a character on its own. Uh, but again, you do need to sort of like sit through a lot of audio files or like video files or reading documents. And it's a shame that it can't be told in a more interactive way, seen as I'm playing an interactive medium, you know? It's, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily just want to sit and watch a loop of a guy smoking a cigarette for half an hour. Would be nice if there was a bit more action narrative, I guess I'm going to call it, action narrative, where the, the, the narrative is coming through the actions rather than just fixing problems with the actions, it should be that the story is being told to me. Uh, which it does do in certain ways. The way that the enemies will drop down from certain positions and the way that the building will shift, that is the closest thing to action narrative. But I don't want to sound like I'm railing on it too hard, I mean I've said mostly negative things. But that's because I care, and that's because it's a really good concept, and it's really, really good to see games that aren't just, you're a guy in a war, or you're surviving. Survival games are good, but they're just the same thing. They're just surviving. Um, FPSs are good, but they're generally just the same thing. This has a lot more intrigue to it, which is great. I think even though that I sort of spoke negatively about the the text documents and the audio documents, it is nice to try and search for them. It's, it's a fun thing to do and to uncover interesting uh, backstories and interwoven narratives. It's good. It is good. And the visuals, they have got that down the visuals are fantastic for just cinematic experience it's yeah it's good so yeah i i didn't want to spoil anything other than my impressions so if you wanted to keep my impressions a secret tough you've just listened to them and uh yeah generally i'm feeling pretty hopeful for the rest of the narrative Seems like a pretty good game, just needs to polish off those corners.